Hi, and welcome to the newest installation video for Bifo Stone. Today I'm going to show you how to install our wall panels on a fireplace. If you already have an existing brick fireplace, you can use the panels right on top of it using a Tapcon screw. If your fireplace is pretty uneven, you can cover it with a plywood like we've done here, and then screw the panels directly to the plywood. Follow my easy steps and you'll be installing like a pro in no time. Here is what you'll need to get started. A level, a screw gun, hammer drill, exterior screws, chop saw, table saw, jigsaw, tape measure, grout gun, chip brush, and rag. One of the most common questions we get at Bifo Stone is how do you use the corners on the fireplace? We actually don't recommend using corners. Although we have them, we think it's more cost efficient and easier to use the panels and just miter the two panels when you get to each corner. For today's project, I'm gonna be using our Durango veneer stone in the color Colorado. I chose to use our 252 ledge molding in the color Colorado. I've already mitered it, assembled it, and got it all ready. So all I have to do is slide it right around so I can complete my hearth. Because this is an interior application, I'm gonna use just a regular old drywall screw. Now that the hearth is complete, it's time to trim out the fireplace opening. I'm choosing to use our same 252 molding so it complements each other, but you can use wood or any other trim you'd like. I've already prepped the molding, mitered it, and made the rectangle so it fits right around the opening. So all I have to do is just screw it in. If you choose not to trim out the opening of the fireplace, you can actually pull the box out a little bit, leave enough depth that when you cut the panel, you can slide it right behind it. It just gives it a little bit more of a sleek look. I'm gonna start from the bottom and work my way to the top. The 252 molding that I'm using has depth to it. I need to use that because once you cut the panels, you need them to butt up against something that has a little bit more depth in the panel. You don't see any exposed urethane. For an easier install, we recommend mitering the corner. A miter is when you cut two panels at a 45 degree angle to create a 90 degree corner. Now that my corner is screwed in tightly, you're gonna notice that there's places that the stones don't line up perfectly. That's totally okay. There's two ways you can fix that. You can use a razor blade and cut off some of the stone so it matches up better, or use a sanding block and sand down the places where it doesn't line up as well. Then go over that with our magic route and a paint kit and you'll never even notice. Oof, all right. That was easy. Now all of our panels are molded off of real stone. When they interlock, if they don't go as tight as you'd like, have no fear, the magic grout is here. I've already grouted a few of the seams. You're gonna notice that it's a white grout. It's okay. The grout has to start off as the base color of the panel, which on Colorado is white. Then after the grout dries completely, we go over that grout with an umber. It's a, it's a brown color wash. That way the grout has a two-tone look, just the same, same style as the panel. Now that all your seams and screw heads are covered with magic grout, let that dry for about five to six hours. Now that my magic grout is dry, I'm gonna use our wash. It comes in the touch of paint kit. I'm gonna brush it onto the grout and then quickly wipe off and repeat that process on all the grout throughout the whole project. Where the two miters connect, you have some exposed urethane. I used the magic grout and I put that over any urethane that was showing. Once that dries, use the touch up paint kit and then quickly wipe off. This way you give the grout a two-tone look like the rest of the panel. Now that I've used the wash paint and I've covered all the white grout, my project is complete. I love the way this fireplace turned out. It's such an easy update for anyone's home. If you have any questions, please visit our website or call our customer service line where a rep will be happy to help you.